working on Great Notion, uh, I was able to draw on that uh, uh, the rhythm of uh, status quo vadis. That's what we call the uh, the Nero bit. Where, and I and this was the first part of what we call the trip. The trip was happening before the drugs. Uh, it would be where they would somebody would take your mind and head down a road with it, kind of gentle and slow, and then pretty soon getting faster and faster, and take your mind along with them in places that ordinarily it wouldn't have gone. And my favorite is uh, where here come Nero, he got the chicks on one arm, he got the chicks on the other, he's sucking down the fine juice in the fanfare, jump off. Here come a chick about six foot two, she's running across the Avery and making 92 miles an hour. Boom, another gate opened up and here's a lion about four times the size of a blowed up bull and his cat's knocking dirt 92 feet in the air. And he's after the chick and the chick hits the wall. Up the wall she goes and she just missed the top by six inches. And Nero say, knock a golden spike where that chick blew. And that, the rhythm of that is jazz. Uh, it, it takes you along, you can follow it, you can follow it, and pretty soon there are no capitals, and no periods, and no commas, no quotation marks. It's just continual, uh, just like uh, Charlie Parker, jazz piece. And writing Notion, I would lull the reader into following, 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 and then go faster and faster until the reader was having to follow into places that he couldn't uh, figure out how he was understanding, but he was doing it because uh, I had captured him to where he had to continue uh, no matter how hot the tempo got. You didn't leave him behind. You see the stuff now with lots of fast, fast cuts. Pop, 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 pop. What they don't have is that slow grabbing of you on the familiar uh, plane. The, the best jazz guy that did it was uh, uh, Roland Kirk of course, who did the same thing. He would da 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 And the reason I like to do that is because there's a moment when you see something like that, there's a crack in your mind. And you know it's a trick, but you can't figure it out. And that crack lets in all the light. Uh, it opens up all the possibilities. When that little split second thing happens, when the dead are playing, and everybody in the audience goes, wow. Did you see that? That is the, that's the moment. And kids will watch five hours of mediocre music to have that one click happen because that is, puts them in touch with the invisible.